Congratulations on the purchase of your new Wishblade. I'm Sandy Clements, and I would like to walk you through the setup process. These are the elements that you receive in the box with your Wishblade. Um, of course, you have your Wishblade. You have two power cords, a USB cable, your documentation and manuals and cutting mats, and your blades, blade caps, and a um, pen holder. Um, first of all, we're going to go through plugging in your wishblade. There is two pieces to your power cord, the round end hooks in right there on your wishblade. Then this plugs into here. And the plug, of course, goes into your power source. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is plug it into your computer. And we have a standard USB cable. And the typical printer end goes into the wishblade. And the USB hooks into the computer. Like that. Okay. And to turn it on, we simply press the blue button. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is install the blade. You lift the cover. And we have the blade. And we have three colored caps, yellow, pink, and blue. We're typically going to use the blue blade, the blue cap for the blade, when we're using very fine papers. Right now we'll go ahead and take that one off. We have the yellow cap for most medium weight papers. 90% um, of the time you'll typically use this one. The pink cap is for heavy weight papers, very thick weights. Okay, the caps just simply screw on like that. And then we go ahead and we put the blade into the wish blade. Um, there are two settings for um, the blade into the unit. Um, on the very top, we have a little dial that protrudes out. That dial needs to be set either in the 3 o'clock or the 6 o'clock position. Okay, this is the 3 o'clock, and then the 6 o'clock is forward. Um, we put it in the 3 o'clock position for heavier weight papers and average weight papers. When we want to use the finer weight papers, it would go into the 6 o'clock position facing forward. Okay, most of the time you're going to go into the 3 o'clock position. We're going to push the blade in until it goes firmly into place and hang on to this blue knob um, so that we do not smash the blade down and damage it. Once it's in, we're going to turn the knob and lock it into place. Okay, and that's the blade. It's ready to go. It also comes with a pen utility where if you want to slip a pen into it, a typical ballpoint pen, that also fits into the unit as well. Um, next, I'd like to talk about the cutting mats. Um, this is the cutting mat. It comes with a yellow protective layer over it. The center portion pulls off to reveal a tacky surface. You want to leave the two yellow sides on so that it can go under the, um, the rollers and it will not get caught. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a piece of paper on the cutting mat and line it up to the top and just give it a light rub to hold it into place. I'm going to lift this open. We're going to put the clear end under the white rollers and we're going to roll it about a quarter to a half an inch into the wish blade so that it can roll easily once the software tells it to start cutting. Shut the door. After that, you're ready to go and load your software and get started with your wish blade.